All right. Bible trivia tracks. Bible trivia for you. Anyone? Bible trivia. Bible trivia. There you go. Bible trivia. Bible trivia. There you go. Bible trivia. Bible trivia. Bible trivia. There you go. Yeah. For you. Yeah. Bible trivia. There you go. I almost out of Bible trivia. Right? I gotta get this some more out. I can carry so many in your pocket. You want to see how smart you are of the Bible, sir? See how well you know the Bible? You want to see how well you know the Bible? Okay, what's your name? Bryce. Bryce? Yeah. Okay, Bryce. Um, how many animals did Noah take into the ark? Two of each kind. Okay. Who lived the longest as recorded by the Bible, and how old was he when he died? Uh, Enoch, I don't know the age. I'm going to say over 800. I don't know the exact number. Okay. What was the name of the man who fell asleep while Paul was preaching? He fell out of a window and died. Uh, I don't know. Okay. All right. The first answer is actually seven of every clean animal and two of every unclean animal. Okay. The second one, his name was Methuselah, and he lived 969 years. That's pretty long, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty long. Um, the name of the man who fell out of the window and died while Paul was preaching was named Eutychus. You know what Paul did next? Uh, I don't. He rose him from the dead so he could live again. Okay, fourth question. What did Jesus say one should do with their eye if it causes them to sin? Mm, probably pluck it out. That's right, pluck it out. And the last question is, who will end up in hell for all eternity? Uh, anyone who's unsaved. Okay, and does it mean like... Uh, for example, 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10 says on the back here, it says, Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. So my question for you, Bryce, is are you engaging in any of those things? No, you're not? You're not engaging in fornication, drunkenness? What about uh, looking with lust upon a woman? Uh, no. No? Are you a Christian? Yes, sir. When did you become a Christian? Uh, second grade. Okay. How does someone know, Bryce, if they're currently a Christian, according to the Bible? How do they know? You just have that feeling, like, uh, you just have the assurance. Um, that's the best way I can tell you. Okay. First John 2, 3 through 4 says, Now by this we know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He who says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So the Bible says you can know that you know him if you're keeping his commandments. Are you keeping his commandments, Bryce? I try to every day. Okay. Are, you, are you living in sin every day? Yeah, everybody is. Everybody's living in sin every day? I think everybody sins every day, yeah. What, what proof do you have? But we're all human, you know. So being human means you have to sin? Uh, at least once, yeah. Okay, but does it, does it mean you have to keep on sinning? Oh, no. Okay, so a human being can live sin-free? Um, no. Well, at least once. Like, he has to sin at least once, but after that, he can choose to do right or wrong, but... So, so you could live holy every day if you wanted to? Yeah, possibly. Okay. So what's stopping you from doing that, Bryce? Uh, where we live in, it's tempting, you know. Have you ever read uh, 1 Corinthians ten thirteen? It says that no temptation has overcome you. Or taken you, except such as is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able to bear. But with the temptation, will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. I'm sorry, could you repeat that one? No temptation is overtaking you, except such as is common to man. And God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able. But with the temptation, will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. That's true. So no temptation you've ever in, in gone, gone through, or ever will, is too much for you to handle. That's right, but I'm still human, so, you know. But you admitted that humans can live holy, right? Right. It's, it's always a choice, you know. You either choose to be wrong or right, but you're always tempted as well, you know. Sure, like, but temptation's not a sin, right? No. Because Jesus was tempted. That's right. And was Jesus a human? Yeah, he was human. And he never sinned, right? Right. Okay. So you agree sin's a choice. Yes. Okay, and you, and you can live holy if you want to. Right. But you sin every day. Yes. Why is that? I can't explain that. It's just it's our nature, our sin nature. That's the way we're born. Like Adam and Eve, like their kids, we have we all have a sin nature. That's the thing to do. The thing to do isn't to do right. You know, that's not. It doesn't come normal to do right. It comes normal to do wrong. 
Where does the Bible say that? I could, I don't know, I could, I could probably find it for you, but. Okay. Yeah, the Bible says that um, this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. Okay, the Bible also says that God created you in your mother's womb, knitted you together, and uh, so whatever you were when you were born is God's doing. I know you, I can kind of tell you're on, you're kind of on the, you have to kind of get going, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to give you this to read. And addresses the issue that you have that we are born with a sin nature and that we're human and we have to keep on sinning. But I encourage you, the same thing that Jesus said in John 5, 14, John 8, 11, go and sin no more. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, Bryce. Appreciate it. All right. Bible trivia.